Our enemies think that they are unstoppable. Why do they think that? Why do they continue with their depopulation genocide agenda? Because we allow it. We sit silent, we watch, we wait in fear. Why? What are we afraid of? Are we afraid of pain and suffering? Well, sorry, not sorry, to burst your little delusional bubble. But pain and suffering is coming anyways, and it will hit from all angles with such a force that it will knock every breath of hope out of our souls. But it didn't have to be that way. There are more of us than there are of them. That cruel, unyielding, evil enemy of the people. And just think, we didn't have to let it get this far. Oh no. But our denial of reality only serves to be a lie. An absolute lie to us. So we got to stop denying what's really happening. We got to listen to the truth. We got to face it. No, this is not going to get better. No, we are not close to seeing the end of all of this. Not even close. This is only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. There is no hiding from this, my friend. Will you finally wake up when you and your family are starving to death? Wake up. Stand up. Rise up in unity and man the heck up. Because we have a job to do. And if we don't answer the call of duty, millions of people will die. And we have to answer that call of duty before the chains of slavery lock us up forever. Before the boot of communism stomps out the life breath of our country forever. We gotta do it before it's too late. Be a hero. Do what is noble and good and right. Choose the difficult path towards freedom. There's no shame in being duped by evil. There's only shame to allow evil to continue to enslave you. The battle for freedom and the road from subjugation has never been easy nor safe from the atrocities of tyrants. 